Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman with an update on the WD MyCloud because a lot of you have been asking if it's possible to directly connect the MyCloud to your computer with an Ethernet cable so you can transfer files directly from the computer to the drive. And the answer is yes, you can. Now, a lot of other people might be asking, well, what's the point of getting the MyCloud if you're just going to connect it directly to your computer? You can certainly do better with a USB drive or something like that. But a lot of times people have a desktop computer with all their data located uh, maybe off their wired network. It's on a wireless uh, network somewhere else in the house, and they want to be able to quickly move data over. Uh, this is certainly a way to do that and then uh, relocate the drive somewhere else where your router is perhaps and then kind of just use it from there. So uh, it's actually really easy to use on the Mac. In fact, all you got to do is just plug the two devices into each other and you're done. Uh, the Mac will figure out what IP address to set itself to and it will immediately see the MyCloud. On Windows, you're going to have to do a little configuration. Uh, you're going to need to set a static IP on uh, the MyCloud as well as on the Windows device. So what you would do is pop into your settings, uh, look for network, and then go from DHCP to static, and then click configure. And then you can kind of walk through uh, setting the IP address. Now I've got mine plugged into my Mac right now. This is the address that it assigned itself. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that both your computer and your MyCloud are on the same network, and it's a network that's not uh, internet routable. Uh, so I would look at like 192.168.1. whatever and make, make the MyCloud 1 192.168.1.1 and the computer 192.168.1.2 and that way they can uh, talk to each other on the same network and uh, you can look at a bunch of stuff online for how to set your IP address manually on the computer but uh, you can see here just pop into that menu on the, I, on the MyCloud and you can uh, get everything set up there but don't forget when you're done uh, before you disconnect it from your computer to set it back to DHCP so that when you plug it back into your network uh, it'll be able to find itself. Now you might be wondering if this is a faster solution than it might be uh, hooking it up to a switch on your network. And if you're on wireless, then of course it'll be a little bit faster, maybe a lot faster. Uh, but if you're using a gigabit switch already for both the drive and your computer, it's going to be the same exact speed. As you can see here, my MyCloud mirror is pretty much delivering the same performance it did when I tested it before. Uh, so we're not seeing any real performance increases. It's just that you're taking the switch out of the equation. And perhaps if you had a whole bunch of stuff going over your network at once that might be bogging it down, you might see a little bit faster uh, just connecting directly, but uh, otherwise uh, probably not. So that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Just set those static IPs if you're on uh, Windows or Linux or another operating system on the Mac, it'll uh, pretty much figure out what it needs to do and get you uh, connected up right away. And this is Lon Seibin. Keep those questions coming, and thanks for watching.